Hi. So, I am going to be talking about the social exchange theory. Um, so, like mostly in terms of violence is what I would be focusing on. Um, so, it has, uh, the development of the theory has historical origins between the 1900s and the early 2000s. Um, there are quite a few people who studied it and, and developed it, the authors, basically. Um, and they are John T. Ball, Harold H. Kelly, um, George C. Homans, and Homans is probably the most famous um, out of all the authors. There's Peter M. Blau, Richard Mark Emerson, another famous one, and Claude Levi Strauss, perhaps another famous one. Um, so basically the social exchange theory involves um, a risk benefit uh, versus a, like a benefit to risk ratio in which a person weighs the benefits of violence against the cons of the act. So, um, this develops further when a person takes violent action when they indeed decide that the benefits outweigh the cons. So, just a couple of real-life modern examples. Um, the first example that came to mind is from a movie, like, kind of a corny movie, but it is called Get Rich or Die Trying, and it stars 50 Cent, um, but it shows a lot of, like, realistic poverty, um, and, like, what goes on in, like, a poverty-stricken community, and, like, the desperation that comes through, um, in that environment, so there is the scene where these two young boys, and they are quite young, they're at least teenagers, perhaps younger, but they rob a convenience store, um, and they, they get caught, obviously, and they get shot violently. One gets shot in the back, and one is shot point blank, so, um, and it's because the owner of the shop is really sick of, uh, like, the youth trying to rob him, so he, um, is very upset, and it's, like, the last straw, so he ends up killing both of these teenagers, but the point is, um, they did this out of desperation, and they, I'm sure, could feel, um, the tension of the store owner, so they knew this was a possibility, and then, of course, they, like, hoped it wouldn't happen, um, but they knew this was a possible outcome. They knew they could possibly die from this botched robbery. So they do it anyways, and they end up paying with their lives, but the exchange theory comes in when they had initially felt that the benefits of um, taking cash and robbing the store did outweigh the possible cons, which was dying or getting caught. And unfortunately, both of those things happen. And it's kind of a brutal example. That scene has stuck with me. Um, so the second one, I read an article about Chris Watts, who was a seemingly normal husband with uh, children and a actually pregnant wife, and he murdered all of them. Uh, seemingly in cold blood so it was quite a violent act um, and his reasoning was uh, that he was saving them from the devil and then it turned out that he was having an affair so he decided the benefits of murdering his family and committing the violent act um, and like perhaps ending up with his mistress outweighed the cons, which would be getting caught and charged for murder and also the repercussions of murder itself. Um, so that's another example of the exchange theory. And in conclusion, I found that the social exchange theory ties into really basic human nature. I guess it doesn't really have to be um 
completely negative. I was just talking about it in terms of violence, but um, it can exist between many parties. It can be romantic relationships or friendship or as simple as in get rich or die trying. It could be between a cashier and a customer. So um, it's a very interesting theory.